Hello my friends, today we are on Luminar Neo and I am going to show you how to take an image like this and create bokeh, something like this. And we'll do all of this into Luminar Neo. Again, this is the image we start with and then we will add this nice bokeh, turn it into this. So, how can we do this in Luminar Neo? Well, there are two ways you can do this. The number one, which might not be the number the best way is to just add a bokeh layer and put it in screen blend mode. And you will do that by just going to your edit and then into your layer panel, load an image with the bokeh. I loaded this one over here. As you can see, this is a full opacity and then you can place it on your image kind of where you want it. Change the blending mode to screen. And then we just want to mask it on that corner. So I will just use a um, radial gradient and just make sure it only goes into this corner over here. I need to invert it. And let's see, I want the bokeh to be right there. And just like that, we add it in that corner. This is how you would add it with a layer. Now, this is a easy, very easy way to do it, but maybe this is not the look you're looking for. Maybe you want a little bit more control. You want to have the control of where you want to put each one of these balls and the way you want it to look. This one over here just doesn't look very natural to me. The, you know, circles are too sharp and the colors don't work. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's reset this image. I'm going to revert it to original. And this is how you create this book. First of all, when you choose to do this in your image, make sure you have a very blurry background because bokeh will not happen unless you have a blurry background. And also you need to have a light source where it's coming from. So in this image, I want to add the bokeh in this corner, but you can see this is the darkest corner in the image. So we need to brighten this to simulate light coming from this side. To do that, I will go to develop. I will increase the exposure pretty much something like that. And then I will mask it with a linear gradient just in this corner, something like that. And that is a good start. Now I will get out of develop, go back and develop, and I will add another one. I will increase the exposure. And this time I will mask it with the radiant gradient. And there we go. But now we are applying it at the outside of our gradient. So we want to make sure we invert this. I'm going to change the shape a little bit, something like that and invert it. So there you go. Our corner, it's even brighter. Now I'm going to add one more to make it look even more believable. And I'm going to increase something like that. Add a mask, another radial gradient. I'm just going to put this in this corner over here and make sure you invert it. There you go. This is our light source. Light is coming from that corner. So, so far, let's see. We started with this and ended with this. Now it's time to add those nice pokeballs. And this is really, really easy to do. What we need to do is go to develop and I will go to masking and I'll choose a brush. Now, this is important for the brush. You need to take the softness down to maybe something like anywhere between four and ten. I'll go to eight for this one. Then I'll make my brush bigger. The first bokeh ball, I'll put it right here in this corner. So I'll click once and then I'll go to adjustment and increase the exposure just like that. Now, remember what I didn't like about the other bokeh balls. They were so um, regular, so circular. And if you look in real light at bokeh balls, they're always, they're not very regular. They're actually missing little parts where it's blocking the light and stuff. So what we need to do to make it more believable, we need to go into masking and we can erase part of this bokeh ball. So I'm going to go just to take a corner off, something like this. There you go. And that just makes it look more natural. I'll get out of develop, go back into develop, and I'm going to go to masking. Take a brush, make it a little bit bigger. Make sure you take the softness down. Remember how I told you this time, let's go with four. I want to make each one of them a little bit different. This time I will add a bucket, just overlapping it a little bit, maybe right here. Go to adjustments and increase the exposure. In this case, maybe around 25, something like that. 
Now go to masking and erase and this for this one I will just take a corner from here just like that. Get out of develop and we keep going one by one to add these pokeballs. So go to brush, take the softness down, maybe this one will go with six. I'll put a smaller one over here and then go to adjustments, increase the exposure and masking. I will erase, I'll just take a tiny part from this off, something like that. Out of develop, into the develop, masking, take my brush, take the softness down. This time I'll go to nine and you can overlap them. You can make them bigger and smaller, whatever you needed for the look you're looking for. So let's see. And the benefit of doing it this way is that now we have complete control over the color. The colors on the other bucket that we imported was not the same. So it wasn't really blending in nicely. But this way we can control exactly what they look like, where they are, how strong they are. And we just keep adding them one by one until we get the desired effect. So let's see, I'll add another one maybe over here. Make this one maybe a little bit brighter, something like that. And I'll remove a little chunk maybe from over here. Just like that, get out, back in, take another masking brush. This one I'll make it a little bit harder maybe. And let's put another one over here. I'm going to go to adjustment, increase the brightness. And you get the idea, just like this, you can add them. And I'll show you the one I did was this one over here. You see, I started with the bigger ones in the corner and then made them smaller progressively as it got to the center of the image. And this is how you add bokeh and luminar neon. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing. I'll see you in my next video.